cool is that? <laughs> What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Central and welcome to the channel. So it's been a long time. It's been a really long time actually. Uh, but I really haven't done anything to the car since then except for it's broken now. So <laughs> got Brian over here recording me recording myself. So I got a lot to update you guys on. Uh, I took the leap. Uh, I'm at a shop full time now doing wraps. It's been a crazy month. Uh, I've actually done a lot in the past couple months since I made my last video. But back to the car. We got bad news. Uh, we finally had a lifter fail. Uh, the car has been parked here at the shop for the past couple weeks. Finally taking it home. And it's gonna sit there for another couple weeks because Christmas is two weeks away from today or pretty close to two weeks, whatever. And I don't wanna spend the money to fix it before Christmas when I got Christmas gifts and all that stuff to do. So let's go ahead and get the car started, get it pulled out. We got the trailer around back or around front. I'm in the back, whatever. We'll see you guys in a minute. So it doesn't sound as bad right now because the car is still not at operating temperature, but we took the valve cover off. We took the valve cover off to make sure it wasn't a spring that was broke or something. We checked the manifold bolts, they're all good. And the only thing left to do is really take the head off and check the lifters, but Still doesn't sound as bad as it did whenever I park it. It'll get worse. But as you can see, got the truck and trailer. It's actually an air ride trailer. It's really cool. We're gonna get it loaded up on the trailer. We're gonna get it home. And then the car is actually gonna be down for a while, but it's gonna get a lot of stuff done. But the big thing is we're replacing the lifter. And if we're replacing the lifter, we're getting rid of the MDS. We're doing a cam, we're getting it tuned. We're doing all that because there's absolutely no reason to just replace a lifter for it to fail later because these MDS lifters are garbage in my opinion. Let me kill the car, get it loaded up on the trailer, and we'll talk more in a little bit. So, as I was pulling the car around, I saw that it has a check engine light. So now I'm gonna grab the scanner here at the shop and we're gonna see what this code is on top of everything else can't record in there because I got music blaring so this thing reads everything but let's see what this is how do we oh, I don't know what I want to do ah there we go figured out how to use this thing so cylinder 4 misfire so we will start with diagnosing that. Maybe it could be something not as bad as a lifter. Hmm. All right, let's go back. I guess we will, that ding, ding, ding thing is annoying. Um, we'll go through here. Um, I'll run a diagnosis and I'll see if maybe cylinder four, if the plug's bad or coil pack's bad. Um, if I do a cam and everything anyway, eh, I'm going to replace all those things. So, um, but if one of those things is just bad, then I could get away with not doing a cam right now and not having to spend all that money and spend the money on doing other things. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's time to diagnose this car and try to figure out what we're going to do. But regardless, I got to get it loaded up on this trailer and I got to get it taken home because it's just been sitting here at the shop. So I called, God, the sun's really bright. So I called a buddy of mine and he said that now that it's finally thrown a code, at least we know what cylinder it is. And the lifter still would be causing that. It could be a plug, it could be the coil pack. But I'll check those first, make sure everything's connected, check the plug, make sure the blah, 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 check the wire, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll do all that when we get home. Uh, but more than likely it's still the lifter especially with the tick that it's making because the driving is still the same as it was when I parked um, if it was something like that I think I'd feel it a little bit more um, if you guys know better below chime in below let me know uh, if you think it could be something else uh, like I said I'm not getting to this 
tomorrow. It's gonna be a couple weeks. I still gotta order parts, um, wait for all that to come in, tear the car apart, all that good stuff. But now we get to do the fun stuff. Cause you know, everything's gotta be on air around here. So really neat, look at all this. Oh, I gotta turn it on. So, how cool is this? So this is goals. Like, I need this personally. Like, this is, like, I need this. Um, <laughs> this makes life so much easier. We'll get the car rolled up on here, and uh, I'll probably have my buddy Brian guide me up, make sure everything's good. And time to take it home. Well, even with the air ride trailer, I'm still gonna need to put wood blocks there because I've got the front lifted pretty good with my airlift and that splitter is gonna rub. So let's go grab some two by fours. We'll throw them behind the trailer and shouldn't be a problem. Even on the two by fours. Whew. We didn't have this much problems with the McLaren yesterday. Uh, so let's see if I can get any more lift out of it. Raise it a little bit more. About maxed out. That should do it. If not, we're just gonna drag the splitter. So we will. So this is probably not its final spot I might pull it up a little bit more even though it'll probably ride good it's right over the axles uh, actually that's probably where it's gonna stay I had to dukes <laughs> so I had to dukes a hazard getting out of this thing because <laughs> I I'm the only one here usually like with this trailer if you do it you can raise it up and then once you raise it up ideally You should be able to open the door. Yeah, so look at that. So, ideally two people loading this up, you drive it up while you're in there, the other person lifts the trailer up. It makes everything so much more convenient. So I'm gonna have to grab these two by fours and take them with me uh, to the house. I'm gonna air up the trailer a little bit more, get the wheels strapped down. I actually love these uh, these tracks. Comes with uh, the wheel hoops. Sorry if I'm a lot closer to the camera than usual. I don't have don't have my little tripod thing anymore. Or I do have it, just haven't vlogged in forever. All right, let's get the car strapped down. I'm gonna get it home and let it sit. But once I get home. I will update you guys with everything that's been going on and see what we can start doing in the future to provide more content, especially since I have a full shop that I'm at all the time. I mean, for instance, this truck just got a full detail, one step ceramic coating. Uh, customer detailer behind me. Uh, might start going and doing some mobile detailing with him. I can start doing some product, you know, Reviews or installs, whatever. I gotta get home. Hey, quit talking to y'all. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, so you're gonna have to get used to it. So I'm gonna start YouTube and again. All right, see you guys at the house. So I made it back home. Oh, reliable F250 mod. It's funny. Almost 20 year old truck gas, by the way, with triple the miles, is still more reliable than my 300. It's great, right? Anywho. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all guys this trailer because it's cool. Lay it out. <sighs> How cool is that? <laughs> Makes things so much more convenient. But I'm gonna get it off the trailer. 
go ahead and get it in the garage, get it parked, get it all situated, and then we're gonna talk. Okay, so the car's back home, it's in the garage. I plan on doing a winter makeover anyway, so let's just go ahead and add a cam and everything to it anyway. I mean, it's gonna be sitting a little bit longer because that's money I wasn't planning on spending. Um, more than likely, I'm gonna end up going with a uh, green racing cam in tune. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want with the car, but it's here now. We're gonna get it torn apart here in the near future. Um, like I said, I'm gonna worry about Christmas first and giving gifts rather than spending money on myself at the moment. Um, but back to the beginning. It's been a few months since I've made a YouTube video. I really just haven't messed with the car. I've been focusing on myself. Uh, I am now at a shop doing wraps full time. I'm trying to get established there before I start doing YouTube content there. But that is the goal, is to bring you guys more content, whether it be rap related, working on my car, just going to events because we go on Saturdays to different car meets and advertise. We have a booth. So I'm able to be in the automotive world every day now, which has always been the goal, which is the passion, which is the love. And if I can bring that to you guys in my content, it won't be strictly 300 related but it'll be automotive related um we still have my silverado which i don't do much to and my f-250 <laughs> and the f-250 is gonna get wrapped and get a little bit of love too because it's a super reliable truck and i actually enjoy driving it every day gas mileage is terrible but um this is just a quick update on life and now the car uh just to let you know moving forward it's getting a new wrap it's getting an updated front end um that's what's in this big box over here is the new bumper for the 15 plus srt appearance bumper whatever uh, i've got that so this wrap's got to come off figure out what cam we're doing it's it's going to get some love this winter um so i hope you guys enjoyed the update I uh, look forward to bringing you guys more content. I miss doing this, and it's one of those things, like, the longer you don't do it, the easier it is not to do it. So I'm going to try to make this more of a, a repetition thing again and at least get you guys a video a week or something, tear something apart. I don't know. But I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.